as Gone West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. We're having a great night right now. It is still hot, I would call it. 84 degrees right here in San Angelo. A little bit cooler, 80 degrees up here in Abilene, but you see the lights are shining behind me. We've got some partly cloudy skies. We're going to see some more cloud cover come in during the night, but it's going to st still be a fairly comfortable one. A little bit cooler here in the big country because we have that cold front coming. You can pretty much see this line that forms of this light green between the yellow and the dark green. We have these warmer temperatures here in the 60s in the Concho Valley, further towards the southeast and cooler up here in the northwest, and it's going to stay that way as this cold front passes around Saturday morning. So that's going to happen. It'll cool us down into the upper 80s as we get into the weekend. And we've got that big chance for scattered showers and storms as we get into Sunday. And that'll bleed over into Monday morning as well. Temperatures are going to heat up too. So here's a look at the Sunday Storm Prediction Center outlook. Of course, we have this entire area up here from Knox County all the way down to parts of Crockett County. So this entire western region within that slight risk for severe storms, we could be seeing damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour, hail from quarter to half dollar size. But I do want to make clear we have a very low risk of tornadoes again. Now we can zoom out here and see the rest of the state. You can see we're lumped in with pretty much the entire panhandle and even a little sliver of New Mexico as well. So we are getting the brunt of the rest of the storms when we get to Sunday. Now over this entire weekend, we are going to see some stronger winds, but mostly when the storm already arrives. We saw some gusty winds yesterday, or excuse me, we saw gusty winds today actually up to 30, 35 miles per hour. And as we get into Saturday, things will actually calm down. We'll get to about 15 but Sunday and Monday, once we are actually seeing those storms, things are going to up to about 30 miles per hour with those wind gusts. Those are going to be more consistent compared to those 70 mile per hour damaging winds we could see with the storm. So here's a look at right now the weather pattern. Again, we have this drier air here on this other on the back side of this dry line, and these are the counties that had that red flag warning that just ended around 9 p.m. And over here we have the moisture area that has the opportunity to interact with some of those storms. If anything does happen, it's going to be somewhat unremarkable. But as we get into into Saturday morning. We're going to see that cold front swing its way through. We have a light rain chance here again in the southern Concha Valley along that I-10 corridor. Again, it's not really looking to be anything remarkable for us. If you feel a sprinkle, don't expect any high rain totals from that. But as we get into Saturday night, that cold front's going to shift and transition actually into a warm front. So we're going to cool down at nighttime and that warm southerly Gulf air we've been getting all week is going to start to overpower and shift its way up along with this warm front and bring those rain chances from the Concha Valley up to the big country. So so we'll start in the Concha Valley in the morning and we'll spread to the big country by around the afternoon. And as we get closer into the evening, we see more of those storms show the possibility of becoming severe. So you see some of these deeper yellows and oranges up here in the big country. It's spread over here from west to east and even some down here in Sutton getting a little bit into Crockett County as well. Then as we continue into Monday, those rains will continue. They'll be pretty scattered from that point and we'll see a lot less severity as well. But we should be through things by around Monday afternoon, if not Monday night. But looking at the rest of the week. This is not the only chance that we're going to have for rain. We're going to get done with Monday. We'll have a calm day on Tuesday, and then we have a chance for another system coming on Wednesday and Thursday. More thunderstorms and showers, so hopefully we are eliminating these horrible job conditions that we are seeing here in West Texas.